Hello, I'm Adrian Tadzaniga, host and creator of Literary Deathmatch, and I'm here to welcome you to LDM Book Report. In a move propagated by big illiteracy, apparently your e-reader has a blue light, which means you're unable to sleep if you read in bed using one of those things. But in to save the day, the one and only Russian inventor and scientist, Oleg Lezov. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Nope, it's Lozov. Let's go with it. Guys, he created the one and only LED light. All the way back in, I don't have the date here, which allows you to get a better night's sleep after reading. You don't need a Kindle. You don't need an iPad. You just need an LED light. They're expensive. It means you're going to have to buy more paperbacks. Moving on to the second item. William Faulkner, William, thank you so much for being here. Absolutely, young Adrian. Thank you for having me today. It's a thrill for you to be here. I wanted to talk first about alcohol. You were a fan of Four Roses whiskey. Right. I've got it in my pocket. I carry it everywhere I go. Would you care for some? Uh, I'm going to hold off. Yeah, that is a shame. Feel it's free. difficult to trust a man who does not imbibe, young man. It's like that old saying, never trust a pheasant hunter who doesn't have black powder on his fingers. That's have you heard it? I have not heard that. Actually, that brings me to this point. You once went hunting with Clark Gable. And Good man. Great mustache. And when he asked you the great writers of the time and who he would read, mm -hmm. you said, John Dos Passos, Thomas Mann. And then I brought up myself. I said, Mr. Gable, you should read my work. And, and what was his response? He said, oh, I didn't realize you were a writer. I mean, you're William Faulkner. Well, I'm William Faulkner. So of course I said, well, I'm sorry, Mr. Gable. And what is it that you do? Did you know he was an actor? Of course I knew. I just wanted to stick it to him. <laughs> he does have a great mustache, though. Finally. The moment you've all been waiting for, for the first time in LDM Book Report's storied history, we turn to a coloring book. Specifically, the Trump coloring book, in which the colorless Donald Trump is added to Mount Rushmore. Best, though, is the one with a Trump happily welcoming a visitor from outer space, a clear admission that he would welcome aliens in America. And truth is, this coloring book is funny, because it services the hilarious fantasy that Trump is a great man. But he's not. He is the living emblem of what George Saunders calls the brain-dead megaphone. His shouting, his constant threats, his anti-thought. And truly, he's the ultimate in anti-literacy. I know I'm preaching to the choir. Any Trump supporter saw this pocket square and shut the browser window immediately. But we have to stand up and speak out about this racist, misogynist, xenophobe to make sure the closest he gets to the Oval Office is in the sequel to this coloring book, where the worst thing that'll happen is we need more red and orange crayons to nail the color of his face. Who do you want to be? The kind of person that subscribes to LDM Book Report? Or the kind of person that just feels sad all the time? Do it.